so my name's Haley. I'm from San Francisco, California, and I studied chemical engineering uh, for my undergrad and master's at Columbia. I was trying to decide between majoring in chemistry, physics, and math, and that's when my advisor came to me and said, you could do engineering. So I transferred to Columbia to finish my undergrad and got a degree in chemical engineering, and then stayed another year and did my master's in chemical engineering. I did a lot of research positions uh, throughout my schooling. I worked in the bioengineering lab, I worked in a process engineering lab, and when I was kind of going through the job search process, I was realizing that a lot of jobs that chemical engineers are traditionally trained to do, you need much more of a data science background to do those jobs now. I was looking for something that had uh, equal emphasis on both data visualization and analysis, and then also the machine learning side of things. So I was actually doing a lot of research from blogs and different people and companies who had written about and reviewed different data science programs. Out of all that research, I landed upon NYC Data Science Academy. They have a very high job placement rate. They uh, are very confident in their ability to help you find the position that you're looking for, which is especially helpful when you don't really know what the layout of the data science uh, industry looks like right now. But essentially just doing a lot of different research from blogs and reading reviews and saying, okay, you're teaching two languages, you have the highest reviews, and you have the highest job placement rate. Mainly working in healthcare pharmaceutical companies more in a research capacity. Uh, I didn't really know exactly what skills they needed, but I did know that it said on all the job postings you need R, you need Python, you need statistics, and you also need data analysis and visualization. So I saw those skills on all these different job postings that were for chemical engineer positions oftentimes. So that's kind of what I was looking to gain here. Specifically, the machine learning really interested me because honestly coming into the boot camp, I really didn't know much about it besides, you know, reading articles in, in the newspaper and Wired, uh, that sort of thing. So very much kind of on a casual consumer level, not on someone who actually engaged with the, um, with the data science community. So, so the first few weeks of the boot camp was very um, kind of traditional, it felt like traditional school. Uh, then it really starts ramping up when you start doing projects and so then you have to manage multiple things. I, I liked that there was that kind of added challenge to it, that there's, you, there's so much to learn that you have to really, uh, you have to really learn how to manage your workload and learn how to <laughs> think in two languages really, which was another goal of mine that I had coming in. I am a very math driven person but I had never really touched statistics before so that is a you know, completely different side of math that I had to catch up on, but you have the resources here, you know, if you're willing to put in the work and ask for help, you know, I had no problem learning these things. It really, I think, just you get out of it as much as you put in. Honestly, my classmates ended up being one of the best parts of the boot camp. Everyone who participated in my cohort was very hardworking, very smart, but also incredibly nice and it was really a cool collaborative environment. Definitely, you know, the coolest project we did was the capstone project. You know, that's where you get total freedom. There are, you know, no real constraints besides show us what you learned in the boot camp. We wanted to try to create a platform that would tell us, okay, if I'm thinking about going to this concert, you know, should I buy tickets now when they're really marked up or are the prices going to go down before the concert? We got to use Amazon Web Services to create a database using S3 and Redshift. That is one of the first questions I was often asked in interviews was, have you worked with AWS? Have you worked with Redshift? The job search started maybe halfway through the boot camp for me. Uh, we were working on our resumes for a few weeks at that point. Once people started emailing me back and asking for phone screens and you know, I'd, I would, would do a phone screen with a company and then usually after that they would say, okay, here's an assignment. While all these assignments were very much ones I could do given the skills that I had already learned at the boot camp, it was great to have the instructors here and the TAs to help me go over my code and to work out the kinks and also then to present my work in a way where I could really show that this data is telling a story. During the interview process, I could tell people were impressed by the fact that 
okay, she has clearly learned how to take a data set and not only can she visualize and analyze it, but she can say something about it. She can generate insights. Honestly, these assignments were just like mini projects. Uh, so it, it really just worked seamlessly into my workload at the boot camp anyway. So what I was really looking for was something that was small, uh, something where I could really practice all the skills that I learned here. And I found just that, you know, I mean, I was applying to a million jobs and found one for a junior data scientist posting and applied through the normal process. And it ended up being, you know, the thing that I think really set me apart, actually the thing I know really set me apart from the other applicants, as I was told after I was hired, was my assignment because I you know, did some really good work. It was a web scraping assignment, actually. So I did some really good work there and presented it. It got a really good slide deck and they're you know, a marketing research firm, so they really appreciated that. And then I was able to tell the story with the data. I'm working at a really small startup. I'm only the 12th employee, which to me is very exciting. That's exactly what I wanted. Definitely, I know for a fact I would not be this happy at like a chemical engineering job. So. Uh, <laughs> which is why I did the program in the first place.